reasons. And I think that maybe the uh, the captain of the Israeli boat had something in him which maybe goes back to the uh, Jewish heritage of Tikkun Olam, or maybe it's part of the humane aspect of us being Jews and part of the diaspora. And he did uh, pick up these people and he saved their lives. And this is in definitely an example of one of the uh, attempts that Israel has made over the years to, um, to show the world that it has a different approach, that it has a very humanitarian point of view, and that it treats people in a very humanitarian manner. Well, so many of them that were brought here now, how many have actually stayed in Israel after all these years, and what are they doing? Uh, many of the Vietnamese who've arrived have uh, tried to look for a, a way to make a uh, living for themselves. One of the first uh, passengers who was on the Yuvali boat was actually a doctor. He saved the life of the daughter of the captain who was on board the boat. Um, and later on, he became a surgeon at the uh, Sheba Medical Center and later on moved to the U.S. But the, many of the other uh, Vietnamese who boat people who arrived to Israel have uh, opened up restaurants. And this is in some it's way... the influx of Asian culture, really, since this time. Do you, do you think this, this incident began that in a certain way? I think in many ways it does. I mean, if you look back at the fact that a lot of the Vietnamese Chinese restaurants have opened during the 1980s. Um, you see that a lot of, um, if you like, the fusion of, of uh, food, the Israeli food, and the mix of, of this whole culture has become part of the Israeli society, maybe due to this, uh, to this uh, arrival of these uh, new immigrants to Israel. Well, possibly the start of a new chapter in, in relations between the two parts of the world. Well, thank you very much for bringing us the story today, Nim Road. Thank you. Have a good day. And thank you for watching us here at Inside Magazine. We'll see you again next week at the same time.